<laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. I, you know, this is astounding. Hey everyone, DK here with Adventures in Dirt. I just want to wish you a happy Easter. That's right, from my family to yours. I hope you're enjoying yourself today and I just want to thank you for coming and sharing part of it with me here at The Weekly Dirt. Let's get started. Hey, let's start things off by heading down to Texas and checking in with Kevin. That's right, he's metal detecting East Texas with Kevin. Got to go check out his channel, but this week he's pulling up some great finds. Let's check in with him. The Ringmaster, Kevin. MDing East Texas with Kevin. Check this out. I'm back at it again today. I'm going to be out on some city property. They have flea markets up here. I think they have the circus come up here and they camp out up here during the rodeos. They, this place is used for just a little bit of everything. One here coming in at a 75 and I'm not quite sure what I got. Maybe a piece of bling? On to the next. I definitely got a piece of bling that time. Ooh, all shiny. It's got a bunch of pretty little stones in it. On to the next. I think I got one. Ooh, check out that stone. Oh, that's looking like an older one, too. I'm thinking silver. Looks like it's got a little tiger's eye in it. A little heart shaped on the side of it. Got me one. See if there's anything else around here. On to the next. Boy, that's looking real good. Woohoo, check that out. Got a big old S on the front of it. I done went and found me a 14 karat gold one. Not a big one at that. That is. Awesome. On to the next. Hey, just some great finds from Kevin this week. I'm telling you, he did the research, found locations of the old fairgrounds and the old parks, and he goes out and he finds the goods. I'm telling you, hey, if you're not a fan, head on over to his channel. Link to his channel is going to be down below in the comment section. That's right, I'm going to pin a comment to the top, and you'll find his description and how to get to his channel in that comment section. Got to go check him out. Kevin, MDing East Texas with Kevin. Hey, everyone knows how I like those return stories. Boy, I feature them all the time here on the Weekly Dirt. And this week, there was another epic one that happened. Hey, and here's what's fantastic is a lot of you viewers here of the Weekly Dirt reached out to me and said, hey, DK, you got to go check out this return story and sent me the link. And I just want to give you the thumbs up because that's what makes this a community. If you have something I need to take a look at, make sure you list it in the comments down below. If you have a channel I need to look at, let me know about it. If you got an event coming up or anything that you think I should be aware of, let me know about it. Can't promise you always feature it, but I appreciate the information and I appreciate the interaction. Hey, let's check in this week with Relic Dirty Hands. They were called out to go help a gentleman who had been searching for a lost item for almost 30 years. Hey, they got a group together and they went out there. Let's check in with them and see how their hunt went. Check it out this week. Relic Dirty Hands. Watch this. Price it weighed four ounces of a duke. So he's going to take us to where he thinks around where he buried it. And we're going to about here. <laughs> Not too far yeah. off because I didn't go yeah. very much further. So. Way to go, Marty! Yeah, well done, Marty. Right under that rock. Beautiful. Let's see that. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh my that gosh. Is a big... <gasps> Whoa. Joseph. Wow. <laughs> 
I think we all got to put our hands on that. Oh we my, look at that. You'll see us all walking back. Holy crap. Yeah, I think this, Eric, this you gotta take a picture. Forget it, I don't do that, buddy. Way to go. Well done. Yeah. Really well done. My yeah. phone. Oh my gosh. I got mine here. I got oh, that's heavy. Look at the nuggets in it. Those are all nuggets. Those are nuggets. Yeah, it's Those a nugget are all gold stuff. nuggets. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> Already. Let's go now. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Okay, that's like uh, two uh, minutes. That's, that's so fast. Now that's probably the best gold find you've ever found. Oh yeah, there's nuggets. It's like gold nuggets. Nugget so he doesn't know yet. We're gonna go he show know. him and see what yet. his reaction is. Five minutes. Five minutes, not even. Wow. Not even. No, he's one minute. One minute. For years. Oh, I've got wine inside. Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh. a little early you for that. Take anything. off your shoes. Anyway, um, no, it's, it's, there's a lot of junk there, man. No, there's, there's a lot, lot of, of junk. junk. There was only really one piece of junk that was worthwhile. And, and Marty. He found it. Yeah, just one piece of junk. <laughs> 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 That's it. No shit. <laughs> oh, that I dare you. <laughs> no shit. No shit. This is unbelievable. You must come in. Less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. I think Marty was swinging about two minutes. Yeah, not even a minute. It was right where you said it was. It was right where you said it was. You were standing at a black spot. Right in front of you was a little, little sort of alcove under a rock. Yeah. I'm like crying. Unbelievable. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> Awesome. Unbelievable! I, you know, this is astounding. <laughs> oh wow! Well, he, let's all let's we it's can step upstairs nuggets. if you want. It's all, it's all nuggets. Oh, it yeah, just needs cleaning. Of course, you've got soap and water. On the other side, you see all the nuggets. They're all nuggets. We rinsed it in the creek a little bit, yeah. but it's going to need to be cleaned more than that. <laughs> Isn't that the most important? Yes. My my other son who gave me this. Jordan, he died. Jordan, yeah, he died. I know. Yeah, a, yeah. a while ago. Yeah, it was years really ago, yeah. terrible. He was a wonderful son. He was so good to me. He was always very, very kind. Bringing your fish in the Of course, yeah. all my kids are very kind to How me. How many years have you been looking for? <coughs> Probably about twenty-five. Oh wow! Twenty-five years. Oh my gosh! What an amazing feeling, right? Absolutely awesome. Took you five minutes to go out and find this item that that gentleman had lost almost thirty years ago and has been looking for it ever since. He just forgot where he put it. And these guys came out and just knocked it out of the park, found it within five minutes. Congratulations to the entire team that went out there. Congratulations to Relic Dirty Hands for bringing us that video. It was an awesome story and an awesome return, and I love those return stories. So congratulations, everyone head on over there. Link's gonna be down below in the comment number one down below in our comment section to their channel. You go over there, give them a big thumbs up. Saw you on the Weekly Dirt. What an amazing return. Congratulations. Relic Dirty Hands. Go check them out. Hey, it's been another epic week for Kurt and the Hoover boys, I'm telling you. And you know, they just got back from England and he put out this video and it's amazing. Just an amazing discovery. Check it out this week from the Hoover boys. Watch this. It's a weird size. It isn't with something stupid at all, isn't it? What is this? What is that? Boy, is this a weird one. Holy cow. Such a pretty coin. Around the rim here, it says United East India Company. All right, down here at the bottom, 1794. This coin was made between 1794 to 1797. Got here, popped the plug, got a nice dark stain, so I wasn't expecting silver. And that looks like a little tiny silver coin. Is that a chime? It's a freaking chime! <laughs> it looks like the olive branch is an arrow design. Oh man, it's a really sharp one. You know how sharp that thing is. It's upside down. I bent it. Uh, let me finish cleaning it and I'll get a close up. I definitely shellacked it. Dang it. Oh no, at least I didn't break it in half. My first time ever I actually clipped a piece off of it. It is a really sharp looking little coin. I don't know what's going on here. It was a low high tone, so it was a high conductor. 
it looks like a big silver and it wasn't even that terribly deep there's no way it is but we're gonna find out together it almost looks white but I don't know is that a big silver what is this oh my goodness I think it's a coin it's early whatever it is it might be a two real so there's no way I just pulled two reals out of here it's a freaking two reals you gotta be kidding me so white it's so weird and white looking holy cow it's I'm uh, a little messed up it is a two reals and believe it or not it's my oldest silver ever <laughs> Right here at the top, 1708. It's a King Philip V. I think they only made this coin for a couple years. I just I had to Google it to figure out what it was because I wasn't familiar with this coin design. 1708, 311 year old silver. Wow, just some cool finds from Kurt and the boys. Kurt, congratulations! I'm telling you, what an amazing two real King Philip. 1708 are you kidding me that is an absolutely an amazing find great job Kurt what an amazing and he followed up with a trime how about that trade token just an amazing discovery congratulations everyone head on over to the Hoover boys I'll put the link down below in comment number one you can go check that out in the comment section go become a fan tell him you saw him right here on the weekly dirt that'd be awesome Hey, I know I featured him before he just gave me a great shout out this week but I'm telling you he also discovered an amazing Roman artifact that I've never seen found, so I wanted to feature it here on the Weekly Dirt. I'm always trying to bring you the best. I'm always trying to bring you some interesting finds out there. Well, Cromwell 13649, you know, he's out there digging in them Roman fields, and he's always finding some cool Roman coins and other Roman artifacts. Check out this Roman artifact that he just recently pulled out. Check it out. Cromwell 13649. Check him out. Watch this. Hey, I featured him here before. He's over in Austria. He's digging in these great Roman fields, and he's always finding the great Roman artifacts. But I'm telling you, he came up with one recently that was just amazing. He gave me a shout out too, so thanks a lot for that, bud. I appreciate that. Hey, but hey, check this out this week from Cromwell 13649. Watch this. Amazing discovery. Check this out. I made another amazing Roman discovery. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll see you on the field, okay? I think I've made an awesome discovery. I really had to go deep for this. Look at this. Here's my shovel. From there up to my hand. 22, 24 inches. Look at that. And look what I've got. I honestly believe that might be Roman. So there's the plate. So pretty sure that that is Roman and that is a very very spectacular find. It's quite heavy. There may be some markings on it. We'll get that cleaned up when we get back and have a look at it. Well there's my hand on it so you got some idea of the it's about eight inches by five inches, something like that. I could be wrong, maybe it's not Roman. But I don't think I am. Not considering the fact that all of these Roman roof tiles came out there and it was so deep. Now, two feet deep, it's made of bronze or brass, I'm not sure, or copper. And it's on a field where I find nothing but Roman stuff. And I can only assume that this is Roman, a Roman platter. Maybe it was an offering. But I found this it was a piece of bone and it came out with that bladder and when I turned it over look at that it's green that bone has been there a long time to go that core that was on the platter and the patina from the platter has uh, gone on to the bone it's definitely bone so I'm pretty sure that that is Roman. That is a beautiful, stunning find. You know, it's hard to date those things. It's hard to actually get a handle on that, but boy, doesn't that just make a metal detecting exciting? That could possibly be a Roman platter 
from who knows how long ago. It's just an amazing discovery. I don't often see platters like that come out of the ground in Roman fields. Usually it's just little Roman brooches, little Roman fibulas, Roman coins. But an entire platter like that is in pretty good shape and has stood the test of time pretty well. And then the whole bone story, wow, what an amazing discovery. Congratulations, everyone. Links down below to Cromwell13649. Head on over to his channel, say I saw you on the Weekly Dirt. Give him a big thumbs up. That'd be great. Cromwell13649. Great job, man. Hey, let's talk about some announcements. Hey, Dan Hurd, he's a gold prospector, but boy, he always has some great giveaways and I'm always gonna tell you about him. Right now, he's doing an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, what's an Easter egg hunt? Well, you gotta go over there and check it out. Links down below to Dan Hurd's channel and the link to the giveaway. Head on over there, check it out, get involved. It's a fun one, Easter egg hunt by Dan Hurd. Go check that out. TC Detects is doing a 200 sub giveaway. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down below to that one. Head on over there, check it out. Good luck to everybody. That's a cool little giveaway. Go give them some support. Big thumbs up. Tell them you saw them right here on the Weekly Dirt. TC Detects. Tinner 455.uk.metal detecting. I've featured him here before. He's having a 3,000 sub giveaway, just a cool giveaway. Links down below to that one. Head on over there, get involved, check it out. Good luck to everyone. Tinner 455 dot uk dot metal detecting go check that one out hey, and then our buddy darnell williams hit 2500 subs and having a cool giveaway boy you got to go check that one out go give him a bunch of support say darnell saw you on the weekly dirt we're here to support you bud congratulations go get involved in that one darnell hello world metal detecting williams that's right go check out his channel link is down below good luck to everybody Detectors Tom, that's right, is having a cool giveaway. Links down below to that one. Go over there and check that one out. It's an awesome one. Just go follow the rules, get involved, tell them you saw them here on the Weekly Dirt. Have yourself some fun. That's a good one. Detectors Tom, go check it out. Hey, I want to tell you about a channel I've been following for a while called Digging in the Green Grass. That's right, over in Wales. Martin over there is trying to reach 1,000 subs. He's getting real close. You guys should head on over there and give him some support. Tell him you saw him here on the Weekly Dirt, and we're here to support you, man. Get him up to that 1,000 subs. That would be awesome. And then he's going to do a great giveaway when he gets there. But I'll tell you what, hey, a little while ago, he also did an amazing return story of a gold pocket watch. Just an incredible story. And I'm going to put a link down below to that story so you can head on over there and check out that return story. You know how I love him, and it was just absolutely amazing. And I think you all enjoy it also. So follow that link, head on over there, watch that return story, give them some support, tell them you saw them right here on the Weekly Dirt. Digging in the green grass, good luck. Hey, remember, if you're not already a subscriber of Adventures in Dirt, hit that subscribe button right up there. I picked this video out for you right here, and YouTube picked this video out for you right here. You need to go check out those videos. I want to wish everyone a happy Easter, whether you're with families and friends or you're out digging. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy your week. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you next Sunday.